it's really nice for us to have a platform that you can count on being used in every major facility in the world. It literally becomes like second nature and it's like you're, it's thinking with you. that excites me more than a new version of Pro Tools coming out. I'm over the moon to see all these new features in Pro Tools 10. It gives me a lot of hope and excitement about where the product's heading, and I'm very impressed with that. The greatest thing about Pro Tools is that the system is really committed to the profession of audio engineering, and it's always been, first and foremost, the premier tool for audio engineers in the DAW workspace. Clip automation, the volume automation on the clips is, is mind-blowing. It's gonna save me hours and hours of editing. Within the first couple days of using ClipGain, I needed to have it. It's that big of a deal for me. Instead of going in and trying to do a fader ride or drawing in a fader ride, I can use ClipGain and get exactly what I need. It's like, ah, wonderful, everybody loves it. This caching is huge for me. To be able to be in a studio or in a listening session environment and be of sessions flying open and closed like just as fast as I'd play an MP3 basically, uh, that's fantastic to me. That ability to load our entire session into the, into the RAM is huge. And we've got three systems linked together right now with 1080p video, 192 tracks on, on effects, anywhere in the session, and it'll instantly play back. The systems have never been faster. It's a night and day difference in the way our systems operate. Even run those same sessions on a network drive or an NAS, you don't have to worry about the speed of the drive anymore. That alone will make some huge changes, especially to a large facility like us. We could actually set up a local server system and be able to run our entire session off of a server. And having that flexibility to be able to play off of anything is fantastic. And real-time fades are amazing. They're instant. They take up no drive space, whereas, you know, in the past we'd have thousands and thousands of fades per session, but now it's, it's not even a concern. We're right in the middle of a feature film in Pro Tools 10. We're up to about uh, 360 tracks combined on, on both sides with doing dialogue, music, effects, and photos. This is just the way to mix. It's fun, it's fast, and with Pro Tools 10, we are rock solid here. I think when people see Pro Tools 10, they're going to understand that Avid is reaching into the future. They're a forward-looking company, and they're going to keep making great products. We've all been waiting for this. The design and the architecture of HDX is going to allow us to do things that we could have only imagined. You know, with the multi-card system, I can do 128 tracks of 176K or 192K audio at 32-bit floating point with the same track expectations of a much lower sample rate system on HD. You can be able to mix an entire movie in one system. Not only does it instantiate plugins faster, it moves faster, things respond faster, and as we know, time is money. So with the, the new 32-bit floating point math, they've added you know, another 1,000 dB of, of gain throughout the structure, and you don't really have to think about the headroom issues as much, and it just sounds much better, much cleaner. It's going to be the difference, I would say, probably between what a mix system to an HD system was tenfold. The way I look at Pro Tools versus other, other DAWs is I know I'm getting the truth with Pro Tools. I can't be so sure with anything else. I just can't. HDX got us closer to this analog thing than we've ever been before, and it sounds fantastic. It's, it's really competitive. And I think that this is going to be a paradigm shift in terms of what people are going to expect from their digital systems. It's got speed. It's got flexibility. Everything is more. Clearly, it's the system for the professional. Pro Tools 10 and HDX, it's the best digital recording system that I've heard to date.